Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and happy Easter. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how I created this on this eye. Pink, purple, and glitter. Starting off with the Morphe X James Charles palette, I'm going to go into the colors Skip, Love That, and Single. Using the Morphe E30, I'm going to go into Skip first and use that bright pink as my transition color. I'm just going to blend it out really good, you guys. Next, I'm going to be using the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill brush, JH30. Going into that darker pink, love that, to create my crease color. I love this brush, so soft. And it really blends good. Now to cut my crease, I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter foundation in the color two. Also going to be using this flat brush from Doe Colors, amazing brush. Oh, love this brush. I use the Urban Decay, Urban Decay foundation because <laughs> it's really thick. Now going into the JH41 brush, uh, there we go, got it. Going to go into that dark purple color, single, and I'm going to darken the outer corner of my eye. Just blend it into that dark pink and really show that purpley color on the lighter foundation. Just really get in there, cute. Next, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter, the Pink Sands Edition. And I'm only going to use one color from it. I'm going to use the pinky color, Ibiza. And I'm going to cover that whole white lid color. The brush I'm using is just a flat Eco Tools brush. Give that lid some shimmer. Even though I'm going to add glitter. Now to define my eye a little bit more, I'm going to go into the G19 and go into both Love That and Single, the dark purple and the dark pink. And I'm going to just a little bit darken that crease right there. And right by my eye too, see perfectly. Even though the glitter's going to go on it, that dark is really cute. I'm going to go into the glitters Fairy Cake and Stop the Badness from Jackie G Cosmetics. Ooh. I love these glitters, they're so cute. Using my NYX glitter primer and my Tarte brush, little Tarte eyeliner brush, I'm going to create that little glitter line. It was a little bit harder to do because this is loose glitter, but I just put a lot of primer. There we go, look at that, cute. Ooh, cute, 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 cute. Now full face going in with the Kat Von D foundation. And using my crusty, dusty, ugh, my wild sponge. I need a new one. Sorry, guys, that's so gross. I'm going to use the Pro Conceal from LA Girl, of course, and Milani Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer. Shades are Toffee and Pure Ivory. I'm gonna just create my face shape, my thin face shape. And then add my concealer, this lighter one. My E6, I use it, it's a flat brush, it's a Morphe E6, and I blend all that brown out, because it is a beautiful blending brush. Now that that's all gonna be blended out, I'm gonna add the concealer on, ooh, he's scary. Watch me create that cheekbone, and the jawline, ooh, yeah, girl, feel it. Oh, kind of blurry. There we go. Going in with my Huda Beauty setting powder, the baking setting powder, and my Morphe brush. Oh, I love this one. I should just use this to beat my whole face. Sorry, guys. I use it just to do this. Ooh. I'm like, you have no idea how skinny this makes me look. I'm like, I need to contour the whole part of my body. My panza. And I just make a cute little apple cheek mark. So it's a cute little round part where I put my blush. 
I'm addicted to this powder too much. I've only had this powder like for three months and I already got by a new one. Now I'm going to go in with the brush you guys I got from my BoxyCharm subscription. I believe this is February's. It's a brush from Moda. It's so soft you guys and look how it just blends it so beautifully. Look at that right there. Ooh, shit. I have brushes that cannot accomplish this and this just so did. It got that powder perfect. Look at that. Oh my god. I also did receive this, you guys, from my BoxyCharm, the same one that I got the brushes in. It is a Cover FX Contour Blush and Highlighter Palette. Look at that. I'm going to use the contour, the blush, and the brightener. My Morphe E12. I only use this brush for my contour ever. I don't use it for highlight whatsoever. <laughs> Look at that. I just blend everything so pretty, so pretty. A little bit on the nose next I got this other brush as well it came as a two set it's another brush from Moda and I use this brush it says on the box it's a highlighter brush but I love how it applies my blush it's supposed to be a highlighter brush I don't know what the hell I'm saying and look at how it just blends it so beautifully into that brown I was like I love this brush and I don't use it for highlighter now I'm going to go into my Morphe Link it in the description. And I just put the brightener on top just to like start the shine. And then, woo, I got that natural glow. Like, I loved that. It wasn't like flashy, like say the Artist Couture or the Huda Beauty would be. It's just very natural. I thought this would be perfect. It's like you're going to Easter. It's a pink look. You probably got a cute pink outfit on. Your nose is looking snatched. Hello too brown though let's fix it let me put some on my nose and I usually use my finger first see yep and then the brush look at that such a natural highlight I'm gonna do my cupid's bow because I will put some pretty pink lipstick oh look at that you guys I did the bottom lip I did it under over my my brows so I went in with a moonbeam Silhouette and Sublime. Cover FX. Going in with my Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. You guys, this shit is the bomb for $249 plus tax. Trust me, I buy these in multiples. Look at how it just takes your lashes like holy moly. This is my go to. Now I'm going to line my lips, you guys. This is a, I think, this is a Wet n Wild lip liner. These are the little ones that you um, can twist in the bottom. It's like a pen and it goes up and down. I love it. Ooh, using this cute pink color from Kiss Me. I loved that month's subscription. I love the little paw prints. In I think it's called Paparazzi. Paparazzi Matte. It is a cute pink look that it's not too bright. It doesn't clash with my eyeshadow. But it has that light pinky color that I perfectly need. Oh, and that highlight. Look at that. Oh my god. It's always good to put a top and a bottom highlight. I just love how it looks. To finish off, you guys, this eye look just to add a little bit of jazz to it. I'm going to go into my Morphe PK. I think this is the PK14. And I'm just going to go into the two darker colors. And... Ooh, this look came out so cute. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this look. Subscribe, share, click the little notification bell. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to all my social media. And of course, share, share, share. Love ya.